Hello there, it's Bernadette Solar. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're gonna talk about downward facing dog. And so I get a lot of students asking me, how do I get my heels to the ground in down dog? Which is an awesome question. And I wanna say a few things about that and then I'm gonna show you guys a posture that will help you stretch out the backs of your legs um, over time to start working those heels down. But before we do that, I just wanna say two things. One, we always want to be super patient with our yoga practice. So it's called a yoga practice, not a yoga perfect, right? Because we always have more to get out of it. We always have new goals to achieve and um, new, new experiences to have and new things to find from our yoga practice. So no matter where you are in your phase of yoga, always, always be patient with your practice. Uh, we never want to rush it. It's magical when those new things happen for us in postures. Um, so we wanna be patient and then enjoy them when they happen. So that's number one. Number two, I just wanna make one thing really clear about downward facing dog. And that's a, that down dog is an axial extension posture. So one of our main goals in down dog is to lengthen the spine. So we wanna have kind of that flat back position in down dog. So the spine, I want you to think of the spine in down dog and your back as sort of the primary objective of lengthening your spine. And then those legs and the heels in particular are kind of your secondary goal. So I want you to always think in down dog of your first goal as lengthening the spine. So sometimes to be able to have that long spine, we have to keep the knees a little bit and keep the heels a little bit off the floor and that's totally okay. But what we're here to really talk about today is how to stretch the backs of our legs so that ultimately we can um, lengthen and work, work in that direction for our down dog. So join me on your back. And what we're gonna do is a really simple posture to stretch out the backs of the legs. And over time, if you can do this consistently, over time, this is what's gonna really help um, the, the backs of your legs get nice and flexible for um, bringing your heels a little bit closer to the floor in downward facing dog. So bring your hands to the backs of your knees and hug your knees in towards your chest. We're gonna inhale here and press up with the heels. And then we're gonna exhale and draw the knees in towards the chest. And you'll just do a bunch of these. So do about six, exhaling knees to chest. And even if your legs don't come all the way straight here, so even if they're a little bit bent, the goal here is to get a stretch for the backs of the legs, okay? And over time, they will lengthen out a lot more. So do a bunch more of these. Inhale, press up. We wanna keep the feet flexed too so that we're getting that maximum length on the backs of the legs. Exhale, knees to chest. And then do a few more. And then after you've done a bunch of kind of warm up rounds dynamically, then you can pause here and stay in the posture and squeeze up with the heels and really work the backs of the legs. So a little softening in the knees on exhale and then pressing up with the heels on inhale and that's what's gonna help um, continue stretching them out from what you've already done. So, and I wanna show you guys something before we finish up here too. So my heels are up here and then if I bring my arms up and overhead, this is the exact same position as down dog. It's just flipped onto my back. So what we've done is we've taken the pressure out of the joints um, so that we're not forcing anything. We never wanna force, especially um, in the hamstrings. And then, um, but we're still allowing the backs of the legs to stretch. So you can come and hug your knees in towards your chest. Um, but just think of this as your kind of upside down, down dog. Um, that will help you work your down dog in a safe and effective way so that when you are practicing your down dog, um, your legs over time will get a little bit more stretched out um, and you'll be able to work those heels a little bit closer to the floor. So that was just a quick tip. If you guys ever have questions, please reach out to me. You can find me at my website, burnitatsolar.com. Um, also, when you're there, um, you'll have information on how to practice yoga with me. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this helps your down dog and your practice in general. And I will see you next time.